Hey, what's up? Olin here, and I want to upcycle, recycle this old TV stand. Um, it's all metal. The different colors is just paints, and as you can see, the black is a paint, and um, it's got rust. But I'm going to clean it off a little bit and then do some magic. So the first step is to use this wire wheel to take off uh, some of the rust, some of the paint, right? My main problem here was getting the actual stand to just stay still. So you can see me struggling, putting my leg in places, but I eventually get this cleaned up. Now, it's important to clean up this old rusted pa paint because what I want to do is reattach some old metal. And I'm going to be doing it using brazing. Now, with brazing, you want to heat the metal up to a certain temperature. And that paint is going to prohi prohibit that metal from getting to a certain temperature and not provide a good surface uh, for the braze, uh, brazing metal and the other metal you're attaching it to to stick to. So that's why this I'm taking my time out with this cleaning process. And as you can see, um, once I get that black paint off, I get some good shiny metal, right? And it's important that the metal is shiny as possible because that's how you know it's clean. So my next step is to get my torch, get my safety equipment, and start brazing the rods in place. Now the thing is, these rods, they were kind of shaky on the TV stand originally, so I just want to... Um, Braze them in so they're more sturdy, so the table doesn't shake as much. Uh, one thing I learned doing this, though, was that when you heat up metal, you get the molecules excited in the metal, and sometimes they don't, don't go back to the same place you started. So, when you're brazing really thin metal, it might not be as flat as you wanted it to be. Uh, when he first started, so that came as a problem um, down the line. But as you can see, I also added an extra support. Now here, these are going to be angled supports so that the metal plate I put on top doesn't wobble as much. So watch how I do this. Um, same process, get the brazing rod, safety equipment, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lean the metal supports um, against the metal rods. And the cool thing about brazing is that you don't have to have like a perfect fit when you're putting two pieces of metal together because the metal you're heating up, the braze, it's going to turn into a liquid. And that liquid is just going to flow between the two metal pieces into the gap. And once that cools off, you'll have a good connection. So as you can see, that bottom piece, um, it's kind of bent from heating it. So that's um, going to be a place of wobble. But um, here I'm just... Adding in the supports. Now, the thing is, I cut these supports using an angle grinder. It's not the best choice because your cuts aren't as precise. If you want to try this, I recommend using a bandsaw with some lubricating oil. But I don't have a bandsaw, so I just make do with the best I could. Now, when you're welding, um, one technique you use is you make a tack um, when you're connecting two pieces of metal and once you have that basic connection um, you just continue welding to make a continuous uh, joint. Here um, I just braze one side to connect the two pieces of metal and once it's mostly connected then I go in and fill in the, with the rest of the braze. So as you can see, I flipped it over, brazed it just for the basic connection. Then I go to the other side and 
um, I filled in that connection. So that's about it for now. As you can see, I have a lot of cleaning up to do from the ashes, um, some braids that needs to be flattened, grinded off, but that's the start of it. And as you can see, I've got some supports. So for the next episode, I'm going to attach the top plate, get that in place, and show you some things. Alright. So stay tuned for next time. Subscribe, comment, like, like. Alright. See you later.